Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of domain and range. This is standard A.2a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 7 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have part of a linear function, and we need to find the range. Now, first thing I want us to notice here is that this is a new type of problem called inline choice. So what that means is we're going to just choose two answers here. And if I just try to choose one, it is going to pop up an error message. It is going to say, you have not answered one or more parts. You can still say yes if you want to, but it is going to pop up an error message if you only choose one answer. This is a two-point problem, one for each answer. So let's take a look at what the problem is asking us to do. Then we can try to figure out how to best answer it. All right, so we need to find the range. All right, so these two things are always kind of brought together. Domain and range. So let's define these two so we don't trick ourselves because some of the incorrect answer choices are going to be the domain, not the range. Okay, so the domain is the set of all independent variable values. Okay, so we are looking at the a linear function here, but we can find, you know, the domain and range of a quadratic, an exponential, right? But the key word is here the independent variable value. So our range is going to be the set of all dependent variable values. Now, what are the dependent and the independent variable values? Well, most of the times, we just kind of use a shorthand. We say, all right, the independent variable values are x's, and the dependent variable values are the y's. And in most cases, that's true, and that's what we're looking at in this one. But sometimes you get a, a problem situation in which they're using different variables, right? It might be an n right there, right? and it might be an f of n. Right? You, you're not ever guaranteed an x and a y. So think of it as independent and dependent variable values, and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's make sure we identify both so we can differentiate between the two on our answer choices. So our x values, you notice that our x starts right here, and it starts right there at negative 2, okay? Now, it's going to go up here to 3. So I'm looking side to side for my domain. So those are going to be some of my answer selections I need to avoid. So x is going to be greater than negative 2, but it's going to be less than 3. So we're going to kind of watch it like that. And then we also need to look at the circles. If it's an open circle, we're not including 3, so we're going to leave it as a less than. But you see how we get a closed circle right there? That means we're actually going to include negative 2, so we can actually better represent that by x is greater than negative 2 or equal to negative 2, because it could be negative 2, and then less than 3. So that's the domain. So we're going to avoid those ones, because we're going to go for our dependent variable values. We're going up and down. Okay. So y is greater than what? Okay. y is greater than negative 4. Now, it's not greater than or equal to. It's just greater than, because it's got the open circle but it's going to be less than or equal to, and we're sitting right there at 2. So we're looking at the y values here. So negative 4 and 2. So this is how we would write the answer uh, in an expression, but we're going to see here, let me move this up here, we're going to see here that it's going to be in words. So remember we said it's going to be the range of all set real numbers is greater than or equal to negative 4. That's what that says. Or just, excuse me, greater than negative 4. Not greater than or equal to. And then it's less than or equal to 2 because that's the closed circle. Less than or equal to 2. And that is our answer for how we can uh, show the range of this partial function.